Hi, Joe Walker here with Deaf Digits Guitar Lessons. In video number four, I believe it is, in a series on embellishing open chords, this one I'm going to show you different alternatives for the open G chord, how to make it sound a little different. Make sure you've seen the article on my website. It should be linked in the description of all of these videos, uh, and it shows you all of the theory and the reasons why we're looking for these different notes. So the concept is... For every string, for every note in the original chord, we're going to look at different alternatives for moving that note down one or two frets or up one or two frets. Alright, here we go, open G chord. Our first alternative is taking the, uh, taking the note on the A string. If you finger your G chord like this, it will be under your uh, first finger. Second fret in the A string, we can move that note up one fret. So you'll have to change your fingering around just a little bit. Back to the original and on to the D string. We can move that note up one fret, or sorry, that note uh, up two frets. So the D string goes to the second fret now. And I just do that by barring my first finger across the lowest three strings, so it gets second fret on all three of them like that, and then my second finger will get third fret on the low E string where it needs to be. On the G string you can move that note up one fret, so once again you've got to rearrange your fingers a little bit, sorry, two frets, move that note up to second fret on the G string. On the B string, there are two different standard fingerings for the G chord. The B string can either be open or on the third fret, like this where you use your pinky and your ring finger, both on the third fret of the high E and the B strings. So that's one alternative that's already in the chord. To get you a note that's outside the chord, you can move that to the first fret on the B string. And on the high E string, you can just lift off and leave it open. You can also move that to second fret on the high E string, another finger arrangement, rearrangement needed. There we go. That's it for the G chord. Enjoy!